We usually think of cruel executions as being a thing of the past, but necklacing as a form of execution only began in the 20th century. The term necklacing originates from apartheid South Africa in the 1980s, though there are references to it being used in Sri Lanka as early as the 60s. The process of necklacing was very simple. A rubber tire would be forced over a person's chest and arms, drenched with gasoline, and then set on fire. This was a form of extrajudicial execution, similar to a lynch mob. In South Africa, black communities would necklace community members that were believed to be apartheid collaborators. It was also used by mobs in Haiti to execute political opponents, and in Sri Lanka, mobs would use it to aid in the state-sponsored massacre of the Sikhs. A similar practice is also allegedly still popular in Brazil, where drug dealers are said to force their victims into a stack of tires instead of necklacing them with a single tire. The variation is known as micro-onda, the Portuguese word for microwave.